Welcome everyone to a day two on Seven Days to Die Survival Guide. And day one, all we did was pretty much just try and get um you know a good stone axe. So on day two, it's pretty much the same thing. Go and get wood. Go and get plant fibers. Go and get um go and get stone. But um, on this tier, try and get a bit more um, feathers to make um, as many arrows as I can. Because on day three, we'll uh, go and find a little small town or a shop to get some stuff in there. That's what I'm going to do. Basically just get as many as the resources that we did on day one. And hopefully get um, a lot more better quality stone locks. But if you can kill a deer, then go ahead. But I might give it a go. See what's in south first. Yeah, with the cars, you may as well loot them. Oh, there. That's, not, that's, not, that's quite good, actually. So I got lucky there and got um, a fire axe. With the axe, probably more chance of killing this deer, so. The hat did are hard to catch the deers. See what I mean? So you'll even need a gun or um, a bow. So it's in this house. Yeah, don't go into like the mage towns if you're on a survival. Uh, if you're on. Uh, random gen don't go to like the big town in the middle if um, you're on Nazgane or whatever you want to call it like I am you don't want to go into um, Dyersville because you'll just get destroyed by um, dogs yeah don't want you don't eat rotten flesh. Uh, you can't scrap that for iron. Same with that. Uh, then coal and that nitrate powder. You can make gunpowder um, with you. But it's not really. You don't really need it first. Unless you can find. Um, You know, lever to make yourself um, the bellows to make a forge. Yeah, the first thing to make a forge is definitely bellows, but um, you can either use um, lever or you can do animal hide. But if you get lucky and find a gun, then you probably have animal hide quite easy. But to find lever, the best place to get leather is um, maybe go into a house and if it's like a sofa or a couch um, if you destroy that you will get leather from you it's probably the fastest way to get um, the bellows so what I'm going to do is just get the quick resources and we'll see what um, how many axes we can make at the end when it comes to skill points um, all I've done, I think I put five, yeah, put five on um, mining tools. But it's up to you what, what you want. Um, survivor, you don't get hungry as fast. Camel, don't get as thirsty as fast. Uh, that one there, your stamina is a lot better. It's sort of like up to you. It depends how how you play. You know, if you play. As in, like, you want to go loot a lot of towns and don't really care about everything else. Just uh, put some on scavenging, because scavenging gets better. And uh, these little sort of brown patches, so sort of different to uh, the green, the brown, that um, gives you clear. You don't really need clear until you get a forge, really. 
but I thought I'd just tell you that anyways. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's our first supply drop. Um, you can get them, um, I'm gonna get mine, but um, where you're getting them is usually med, uh, med kits and pills and all that, but if you're lucky enough to get weapons and uh, schematics, then you know it's better. Um, the best thing I found in a supply drop is um, a sniper, but that was only one time. I got lucky and since then just been medkits and uh, rocket launcher schematics and just the uh, stuff I don't want really so um, I'm gonna see what's in there and uh, on that well the way to there is a um, little lake any sort of empty glass jars you got you may as well refill them and you can um, put them in the campfire to make a bottle of water to make a campfire go in your basics go down to campfire and you need eight small stone um, you can make it when you want but I'll probably make mine um, at night time then do it then because my water's on 94% so I'm alright and we're finally uh, uh, suiting it do it first I reckon medkits, pills, and some antibiotics. Close enough. Uh, any schematic I may as well read. Um, read the magazines. With the pills, you do get minus 41% hydration, so there's no point getting them. Uh, antibiotics, they are useful. Um, see if you get hit by a zombie. You'll get like a little symbol down where your um, health nut is, like a sort of like a hazard symbol. Means you're infected. If you get infected, I think it's two hours. I think it's two hours in real life. It takes you to get infected and you do die, so they are useful to get. So that's that. Um, Suiting these. Yeah, all I've been doing is just getting a um, stone. I made as many arrows as I can get, just in case uh, zombies do come. Uh, let's see what I can make so far. Yeah, I can make 97, and I'm low on just small stone, so at least I know what I get. Let's see what's in these. Yeah, hunting knives, or if you find any bone or bones. Um, if you get a bone, go to recipes by pressing triangle. I'm not sure what buttons they are on Xbox or whatever. Button triangle. It's triangle for PlayStation. And you go to recipes and it should should say bone shiv. Get a bone shiv. If you do, um get lucky enough to kill an animal. Um use the bone shiv to sort of like get the meat and the um Armor hide. But with a knife, with knife you can use it as a weapon. So, cut a good find. I think out of all the things to loot, the um, chase comes my favourite. Because I've always got um, guns and ammo and all the good stuff. So, with honey, see there it gives you 40 stamina, 6.9 fullness, and 0.4 wellness. So, they are good. Uh, with the medkits, may as well keep them if you've got them. Especially on um, day three or four when we go into a town. So it should be useful. I think they do give you um, some protection. Not 100% sure. Um, with the part, like gun we weapon parts, if you find, say, like low, low quality, like the brown, at this point in the game, you know, there's no point having them because. You're not gonna get um, a chance to make a gun yet, because you'll need the um, 
schematic first and if you find the schematic first then fair enough but it's finding the part there's a what's that passing gas yeah I'll, I won't go in but I'll show you that usually um, zombies do spawn a bit more around these parts and uh, with the gas barrels if you find the gas barrel schematic you can make gas for your bike but I was a pig there pig oh, I've got a bow I've got a bow oh fuck's sake I've got a bow quick yeah um, pigs are a lot easier to kill because they are a bit slow and you can you know run up to them and hit them as where well, deer you can't There we go. Always oh, one invisible. Try and get him. No, wait. I'll get this one first. So I'll show you what I mean by um where you sort of carve it. Yeah, there's a bone there. But I've got a knife so there's no need. Um when you do kill an animal you will carry meat and the meat does attract zombies see how there's a symbol on the bottom left that means, which means um, you will attract them and with this if you you know crouch um, and you do hit them when you crouch without them being known you know without being detected by the um, pig you will get like a um, sort of like a a damage there times two damage so it is um you know, it is helpful. What am I dropping? Yeah, so if you're full, you'll get little bugs like that where you're dropping stuff. Animal fat. Just animal fat, don't really need it. Um, but you can use animal fat to make torches if you want. You don't have to, but I'm not gonna. There's no point yet. We'll go in. We'll go there day three, I think. Try and get a few more um, axes first. Ooh. Um, cooking grill, definitely useful. Um, because you can make grilled meat instead of charred meat um, which is better for you so it's definitely worth it yeah sure I can't fucking see um, so to be fair I've got quite lucky um, with the stuff I've got with the knives and the pigs don't usually get pigs I mean um, I can make food now so I should be alright so I'd say day two is you know getting more stone but if you got lucky like me to get um, to find food and definitely get food because you will need it but they just take the piss them there's not even trying to get them because there's run off Unless you've got a gun, then fair enough. But it doesn't help, I can't hear aim on this game. I can't see shit. Oh, fuck off. Oh, whatever. Oh, was a pig there. I'll get this one and uh, I'll go back to making some stone axes. Oh. See how they're sl slower, so you can actually hit them instead of using arrow. Oh. <laughs> you being serious?
But sometimes they can bleed out. It makes it a bit easier for because um, say if you shoot say if you shoot a deer and uh, it runs off. If you follow it you can end up you know dying from bleeding out so let's see if you get lucky anyways. Um if you want when it comes to you know clothes you can scrap them and get um cloth fibre but for now there's no point. In like the snow area you do get these um oh what you call them lumberjacks would a bit harder to kill than uh, your normal you know zombie yeah see how it says minus six point nine hydration um so I've got no choice but to sort of eat it, but got plenty of water in those for tonight. So it should be alright. So what I'm gonna do for until two on thirty is just get some more resources. Mainly stone. That's what I'm low on, so I'll deal with that quickly. I found a house so may as well quickly see what's in here. It's locked. Yeah sometimes the doors aren't aren't locked. Which uh saves you a bit more time. Uh <coughs> upstairs first. Yeah but cases do give you um schematics a lot of time but apart from that there's not really much point. Uh, what's this? Yeah, so eventually we'll be making the blunderbust in the forge. So um, if you find any paper, you know, may as well grab it while you're there. Uh, scrap these. No, keep that. <coughs> um, if you do come up to a, a cooking pot, do take it. Because you can make um, you know, better things on the uh, campfire. That's if you're lucky to find them. Ooh. Keep them. Uh, drink them first. Yeah, may as well, may as well get the um, empty bottles. <laughs> um, if you do find the wrench, keep it because you can get. Um, well, you can. You may as well go wrench a few cars to either get iron or you can, if you're looking enough to get an engine or a battery, then uh, you know, fair enough. Because you do need it eventually when you get um, the um, mini bike for dump shoots um, book so you can make mini bikes. But it's getting a bit late, so shit, where's it up? Well, I've lost my um, little box, which isn't good. Uh, what do we not need? Scrap you. Uh, right, box, box, box. Where's it? Shit. Found it. Uh, probably the last few things is to get a bit more stone to make. Um, some arrows because you don't want to really really want to make arrows and not have enough for um, your axes so I'd, do, I'd get your um, axes out of the way first then make your arrows so I'm going to do that in a sec so it's 21.05 now you can stay out till you know the very last bit but might as well get this um, campfire on the go so we can uh, make some meat I'm not 100% sure if uh, fire does attract zombies Pfft, no idea but it'll be alright so the first thing you do is put some wood 
in the campfire. If you've got a cooking pot, put it up the top. Same with the uh, grill. And that does unlock. Um, so say if you didn't have uh, any of them, I won't be able to make these apart from the charred meat. Even with bottled water, I don't think you can make about the um, cooking pot. So we'll make, I think it's, well, only three. Then because I had some eggs, I can make bacon eggs, which is better than, um, it is better than, you know, tinned and grilled and charred and all that. So I best make another chest. So I'm a bit full. Uh, the put a finger in mm, this, 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 this. Mm. So, off camera, I did make 96. Well, you've seen me waste all my arrows on them pigs and boo. Apart from that, uh, so if you've got a right iron, scrap your right iron. Uh, if you do get animal hide or did keep it um, so you can make the forge keep the arrows on you just in case um, get attacked at night uh, got food on the go so we'll see how many um, axes you can make so full day got 627 stone uh, about a thousand yeah, over a thousand wood, 282 plant fibers, 125. That's not bad. So we'll make all them. Uh, see what others can make now. Probably can't even make any, apart from two. So, um, so do the same thing as the first day. Fill this up, fill that up. Cancel all that. Do that again. Keep doing it, and doing it until you've got no. Until you, um, well, until the morning. Then, uh, if you can make any more arrows, you know, you may as well, because I think day two we're gonna go li loot that passing gas. And if there's any hours on the way, we're gonna do that. So, I'm um, back in the morning to see uh, what kind of quality Max is. So, same again, fill everything. Cancel what you're doing. We can go ahead and scrap all these, and uh, after that, go back to making them. Just simple as that. Um, <coughs> then, after that, make your arrows. Then, the uh, last thing you do is make your bow, and uh, should have a decent quality axe at least two in the 200s so be a bit better for um day three so there um <coughs> i can't make any more i got stone got wood but again again and again and again i forgot to get more plant fibers which is annoying but this got into the 200s you know i can't really complain so I'm going to do, well, make the arrows now. Got plenty of um, stones on me as well. Uh, 159 arrows. So I'm going to wait until that's fully done. And then make me uh, my bow. So my bow is in 70 now. So it should be in the hundreds. Hopefully in the hundreds anyways. And uh, yeah, got plenty of meat. You know, I got lucky in... Uh, what's in there? 11 more. Turn that off. Get your wood back. Put that in there because you don't want to carry it with you. Um, <coughs> but um, yeah, this isn't where I'm staying. Um, I think day 4. Yeah, day 4. I'm going to find somewhere to stay. And uh, 45 for the blue moon. Either that one there. And I know that is sort of a better, better house just past the passing gas so uh, we'll see what's in there 
uh, how long's left? Three fucking minutes. Uh, I was gonna scrap, well, kind of scrap these. Go wait until this is done, and we'll see what kind of board we've got, and we'll end this video. There, that's all the arrows made. And while we're here, so on that day, well, this day, we've got 20 armor hide, which is just, just enough to make the bellows. So you need one short iron pipe. To get short iron pipe, you can either find it. Um, if you're lucky enough to get a wrench, go wrench a kai, most likely get one of them from there. Or if you find a house, go in the house, destroy, fully destroy the toilet, you'll get one then. Eight wood. There we go. That's the bellows. Then after the bellows, uh, you'll need a forge, and for forge you need bellows, short iron pipe, 50 clear, and 50 stone. Uh, but we'll we'll get that when we get when we um, sort of set it down and fortify a base because I don't really want the forge in here, and then run back, keep running back and forth to where we are. So I'm going to show you a bow, but I do need some fucking plant fibers. There we go. Bow, which is weapons. So from 70 to 119, which is pretty good. It's not bad. Scrap that. So definitely worth doing. But I think that's it for this day. On day three, we're gonna go on that passing gas. Uh, probably wrench a few cars to get maybe some iron or whatever. Probably do the same thing, get um, stone, plant fibers and some wood. Get plenty of um, feathers. Do you do want to stock up for um, the blood moon? So yeah, that's it for this day. Um, hope it helped. Uh, if it helped, do leave a comment. Uh, you know, it's appreciated. You know, it does help us out a lot. And uh, if you like the video, don't forget to leave like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you all back on day three. Bye. <laughs>